Hi, my name is Nana Maureen. I'm a contemporary artist from Hokwe Vuta region. I believe art is essential because um, the artist creates nothing out of something, beauty out of nothing. Today I'm here to show you my practice of how I come about in creating my pieces. I use waste in creating beautiful stuffs, portraits. So I, as you can see behind me, um, I'm working on Tony Morrison. So I work with textiles, written articles, and scratch cards as well. And so before you start my medium, you have to get a surface to work on. Um, we have canvas, paper, or a straw board. You also need a glue, um, a white glue. It doesn't really matter the brand, but you can just get any white glue. For the glue not to be showing you when your work is done, you also need a brush or a palette knife. I prefer the palette knife because it helps me spread the glue wider. You also need a scissors, a pair of scissors in cutting the fabrics and then the research articles and then the scratch cards as well. And so now I'm going to take you through um, the practice. And so you first of foremost apply the glue. on the surface gently And in, in selecting the textiles, we have um, different um, tones when it comes to textiles. Some are brighter and some are lighter. But when you look at this carefully, um, this is a, mi a mixture of the two brands. So the, I'm using the lighter tones and the, uh, the darker tones as well. And when fixing the fabrics, you make sure there is no hole, there is no space in between the fabrics. You also have to cut carefully so that you don't leave any space left sometimes it takes me a week or two to finish a particular piece a piece because um, it, it has to really you have to really take your time in creating this And so when you take a look at it carefully, sometimes a fabric might lie on the other fabric. So you have to fix the glue under it and make sure it sticks 
onto the other fabric as I said earlier you shouldn't leave any space behind so any space you see you have to close it And when cutting the fabric to the textiles to you shouldn't really cut it so big. You cut sometimes look at the shape and cut it according to the shape. So I'm applying blue. You sometimes have to spread the, the glue much because you might sometimes leave a space in between and the glue has to get there so that when you apply the, the textiles it, it would really stick on the canvas As I said earlier, it really needs time taking because you also need patience a lot. So you have to really take your time in fixing this fabrics. Uh, so you might end up leaving spaces behind. And you should make sure you don't use one fabric too much because it, it also counts when fixing the textiles. And these are all waste stuff anyway. They are um, fabrics that have been used and the leftovers that I'm also using in creating these beautiful pieces. Uh, 
and every space needs to be covered. So as you can see here, there is a space here, and so I have to cover it. Then I'll supply the glue again on the surface. Applying the blue ones again. And you should make sure your scissors is also sharp as well when cutting. I'm fixing my textiles.
so you see I'm almost done at this piece As I said earlier, you have to really select the fabrics. Selecting the fabrics is a key. It's, it's so essential because when you don't know and then you pick a wrong fabric, you might end up distorting the whole work. It might not really look perfect the way you want it to be. Okay, so now I'm done with the face. You can see it's left with the, uh, the eyes as so well. Now I've already pasted the written articles written by so many journalists. I've already pasted them on it already, so I don't need to do the background as well. So what is left is the eyes. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video thank you to teaching artists institute for sharing the video to the world thank you to kimpo hashtag thailand ghana thank you so